The mega Bitcoin and crypto bull market is about to start and you are on a limited time frame to get your last chance, your last opportunity to make some of the most insane returns and gains that you have ever experienced in your life. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and smash it right now the subscription bell because you guys are missing out on getting some serious gains out here in the market there today. I have some crazy alpha for you guys coming out over the course of this weekend. Multiple videos, so subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you guys know. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Rukas. Thank you for being here with me today on the video, guys. Today, we are going to be talking about the mega bull cycle that we are about to experience in the space. And I do not even want to discuss anything else but the absolute fundamentals about this cycle right now. So today, the, the Morales money bubbles are very, very, very much in the beautifully beautiful green, as you guys can see over here. And essentially, most of crypto is pumping today. Yesterday, crypto was a bit down. The day before, it was a bit down. Um... Some people think that the dump is over. Some people think that the dump has got further to go. Who knows? None of us actually really know. But what we do know is that we just continue to prepare ourselves in the space. And that means that when the markets are in the red, you buy whatever bags you are positioning yourself in to fill and top up on those bags, essentially. And Bitcoin is that number one and most important important of all of the bags especially considering that bitcoin is the king of assets and it will continue to be the king of the assets um it is outpacing ethereum by one trillion dollars and it is exploding and it's going to continue to explode and especially with some of the noise around uh, ethereum at the moment um and perhaps maybe it being considered by the sec as a potential security who knows um I doubt that will happen and I doubt it will slow down anything in terms of the spot ETF. They might just find some excuse um, because according to Larry Fink at BlackRock, the ETF can still be launched um, if they are under a court case uh, during the interim. So guys, I have a lot of news to share with you. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because there's going to be tons of action out there uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, let's go ahead and start off Obviously, we're at $2.66 trillion in the market cap today. We're up 1.7%, $100 billion in trading volume. Some coins are cruising. I mean, Pups Ordinals, uh, man, I didn't get in on Pups, but hey, it is what it is. I was looking at it. It was on my list, but I just didn't get into it. Um, and then, yeah, most of the coins here today are in the green. Dogecoin is up 5.6% as one of the leaders in terms of one of the gainers. But as you can see here, Injective, Stacks, Fex, Ton, GRT, Near, HBAR, Doge, Casper, Dot, you know, these AVAX, these are all pumping today, guys. So now the Fear and Greed Index is back at 75. Yesterday was 79 and kind of at the beginning of the week it was 71. So it's hovering between the 70 and 75 level, uh, well, actually 70 to 80 level because of all the pumps and dumps that we are experiencing at the moment. Now, that is phenomenal. Guys, I don't know about you, but I've been putting out some crazy stuff. So I put out a danger video on Bitcoin, but go watch that one. I'm going to leave it up here. And then, you know, you want to be watching this one pretty much after it as well. I hope you guys have been enjoying. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying all the content that we have been sharing here together. But essentially, we are here to continue to make absolute crazy alpha content here for you. So Make sure to subscribe to my Twitter page. I am getting onto my Twitter page, guys. Yes, I have been crazy, just busy all around and just having so much fun doing things and building things, not only in this space, but out in that space there for you too. Uh, so, you know, today. So 
guys, make sure to subscribe to my Twitter page. I am power pumping there for you guys as well. Uh, definitely not as much. I really want to get as much content on videos as possible because I know that you can also just listen as well as uh, watch when obviously you need to lay your eyeballs onto the screen. So uh, here goes the rest of the video, guys. First of all, we have the Bitcoin halving coming up in a few days time. Now, Bitcoin's halving happening soon uh, until a frame. So first of all, in 2009, we were at 50 Bitcoin, uh, essentially. Um, then 2012, it went down to 25 at the halving point. And then 2016, it went down to 12 and a half. 2020, it was at 6.25. And now in the next kind of 13, 13, 14 days time, we have the next potential halving, which takes us down to about 3.125 Bitcoin, guys, which is absolutely flipping epic because that happens in 13 days time. And if we go and look at what has typically happened every single time, we have seen that in the Bitcoin chart, that that every time we have seen that in the Bitcoin chart from the halving, we literally go only up, only up guys. So we are about two weeks away from the halving date. Okay. One week there and then the next week, the following week. So this week that we have coming, that is going to be one week until halving date, guys. And then we have one week left. And I don't know about you, but I'm doing everything in my power to accumulate Bitcoin, especially considering to see what we have done in this cycle right here, right now. If we go and have a look at our... I want to show you uh, BTC... BTC dominance. Okay, BTC dominance is not around anymore. I don't know where it is. Anyway, so don't worry about BTC dominance. But like I said to you guys, BTC dominance is actually going up at the moment because as you can see in the chart, as you can see, essentially, as you can see, essentially, Bitcoin is the currently the approved all, uh, cryptocurrency of the blockchain of the market and it is a officially having a spot etf and these are all the spot etf uh, tickers uh, or names and tickers and here's currently the list of uh, etfs and their a uh, ap's until now city gs ubs and citadel were not named in any of these etf filings so either new or they were ashamed before to be ID'd, but are now cool. Either way, likely as a result of the ETF's mega flow success. So I don't know about you guys, but with the Bitcoin halving kind of just a few days away, with more inflows and more people or more institutions listing and banks listing, I mean, City's a bank, UBS is a bank, Citadel's a bank. These guys are listening to hold the spot ETFs. Well, there is absolutely no doubt that with the largest, uh, two of the largest holders of the spot ETF is BlackRock and Fidelity. BlackRock updated its spot uh, ETF prospectus, adding five big Wall Street firms as new authorized participants, including Citadel, Goldman Sachs, UBS, and Citigroup. The takeaway is big time firms now want piece of action and or are now okay being publicly associated with it. So guys, if you think Bitcoin is going to go down, um, I just, I don't know where you think it's going to go down with massive potential inflows about to come and the halving time about to come uh, in the next few days time with massive liquidity pumping into the space. If you guys uh, use my Bybit link down below, you guys can get 30, up to $30,000 deposit bonus, and you guys can come and trade this beautiful cryptocurrency with me. And um, essentially you can see here, I drew this line first, and then it was starting to form somewhat a bear flag, but then it broke out of the bear flag, it retested it, and it is back up above uh, this level, which has now made a new kind of level of where we should be considering it 
for Bitcoin to break out. If it breaks out, we're going to probably see it hit this level because of the resistance, pull back, retest like it's did, done here, create higher lows, essentially consecutively, somewhat looking like on that kind of trend line. Okay, so uh, if I had to draw this for you guys, very simple, something like that, and then a bust, bust up, yeah. So that's potentially what we could see happening. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. But not only that, we are literally on Saturday in the weekend trading and Bitcoin is currently just sitting nice and comfy, nice and tight. When we had all of this pump and volume come in in this candle yesterday on Friday. So I don't know about you, but I definitely wouldn't be going anywhere, especially considering that the Bitcoin ecosystem is only just getting started and it is just growing. These are the layer twos in here. I mean, from stacks to root to all kinds of things. Merlin, uh, Unisats, Ordinal, Hydronet. I mean, so many coins in this um, ecosystem that are going to literally help Bitcoin's ecosystem completely explode. Now, despite Mr. Mr. Mr.'s uh, Jamie Dimon's uh, disruptions, disruptance on his ban and his hatred towards Bitcoin and crypto and him calling it a Ponzi scheme that it eventually will fall away. Well, BlackRock names JP Morgan as the authorized participant for a spot ETF, despite Jamie Dimon wanting to ban Bitcoin. And that is also because BlackRock is a major investor in JP Morgan. So they too have control and have a share of what it is that they'd like to do. So in essentially, and truthfully told, this man, all he does is tell the traders what to do, have some tea, have, go have some lunch, hold up some relationships. And I would say to you that this man does not actually hold the power, but rather this man holds all of the power. Okay, him and Fidelity. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but this trajectory has told us ever since Bitcoin's inception, we have only gone up. So if you have the long term in mind and you forget the 70, 80, 90 percent bear market dips and you just continue to accumulate and add to your positions and work your asses off to get one Bitcoin, guys, at the very, 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 very very minimum, you need 0 0.01 Bitcoin. Please, at the very, very minimum, let me know down below in the comments and smashing the thumbs up if you have 0 0.01 Bitcoin. Okay, I do. I have quite a little bit more than that. Um, I'm actually almost at my full Bitcoin. So freaking hallelujah, guys. I'm so excited, you know, I really am. It's taking a long time. So just that's what collecting Satoshis is all about. On the downs, on the ups, just like Michael Saylor says, he'll be buying the top forever. I'll be buying the, for the entire market forever. So your positioning is just to get to at least one Bitcoin at minimum, guys. But by the end of this bull cycle, I'm very confident that I'll have a lot more than just one Bitcoin. Um, and I am looking forward to sharing this journey with some of you that have been along this uh, journey with me watching my channel. So if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because you do not want to miss out on the rest of this alpha, guys. Right now, if we look at this, we are kind of in this area here between these two colors over here. So it's still between a buy and an accumulate zone. So it's still a good time. Honestly, I would be as patient as anything to wait up until, uh, you know, I would say that we probably have maybe another two months worth of buying, two months, maybe three months worth of buying at the absolute most. After that point, I would stop buying and I would then start to uh, consider and have my take profits in realization for my position. So. Because essentially now we start to go into HODL, is it a bubble, FOMO, seriously sell maximum bubble territory, kind of pushing all the way up to this level, guys. But, you know, if you look at this, we could potentially be heading up to 
a crazy, crazy 835,000 um, in this market, perhaps by 2026, guys. So this is not a joke anymore, okay? And that's why I say we're about to see the biggest wealth shift that we have ever seen in the history of Bitcoin. Now, considering that we are seeing Ordinal is making up for about $1.4 billion um, in this uh, BRC20, the BRC20 ecosystem, there are tons of e uh, coins in this space. Guys, I told you about Orange when it was way back down. Uh, it's still sitting at a $31 million market cap. Guys, Track is still sitting at a $64 million market cap. Def, um, uh, Pepe Ordinals, guys. I don't know about you, but Bitcoin and its ecosystem is going to explode. Now, think of this in mind. I just want to share two last things with you before we have a look at my trades. And essentially, gold is currently now sitting at a $15.74 trillion market cap. So here is gold. Gold has now officially done a breakout of its pattern. I'm going to put this on the weekly chart for us. Okay, have a look at this major, absolutely Goliath um, cup and handle pattern. So now what this does is it essentially starts to say, okay, well, we have quite a way now that we essentially need to unfold in the market to essentially fulfill the trading pattern of Gold. So that would take gold up to about two thousand. Call it three thousand dollars, guys. Gold could spike up to three thousand dollars. It's currently making its way up there right now. It already has broken out of the pattern. Here's your cup. Here's your handle. Um, and essentially, on top of that, there is somewhat a inverse head and shoulders. So shoulder, head, and shoulder pattern on gold. Busy making its breakout. This pattern that I drew for you. Here is the target up here. So I have no doubt that about 2,400, 2,500, we might see a bit of a pullback um, to about 2,200, 2,300, and then a continuation of the pattern, guys. Pullbacks in markets are normal. It is normal. Look here. Pump, dump, pump, dump, pump, dump, pump, dump, pump, dump, pump, dump, dump, pump, dump, pump, breakout. We're in a bull cycle and the U.S. economy and all global economies cannot stop printing money, devaluing all assets on the planet to their currencies, which means that that asset is now worth more of their currency. But because they're putting more of the currency, it means that currency is worth less. So Bitcoin is your king of assets. And if we consider gold currently at a $15.7 trillion market cap, Microsoft at a 36 um, Bitcoin is back at 10 because it's just been in a chill position um, pretty much for the last month since the end of February, last two months, essentially, guys. Look at this chill position that it's really just been in. But that's okay because right now, if we go and look at silver, silver is also breaking out, guys. Now, these are other commodities on the uh, markets that, I mean, look at what happened on on the week this week on silver we had a huge breakout here's the breakout guys we got a breakout on silver silver is definitely heading up to about i mean honestly i would say silver is probably going to head up to about 50 dollars i mean look at that high look at that peak look at that high there is both when it kind of hit that same level 48 dollars guys it's going to 48 dollars it is broken out of the pattern i think we'll probably pump up to about this level then maybe see a bit of a pullback and then a continuation in the pattern up to about $48. And honestly, guys, I think silver is going to probably see a crazy triple digit scenario um, throughout this cycle um, in its life. And honestly, guys, I just want to show you something even more magnificent because here is the cup. I mean, look at how far silver goes back, guys. It has been dead up until they started printing money like crazy in the early, uh, late 70s and, and 80s, early 70s, uh, late 70s and early 80s. Okay, so 
boom, there's your cup pa ha pattern, cup, there's your handle pattern forming, and then it'll probably do something like this and then break up. This is a freaking crazy, crazy target outcome for you guys. Okay, just as a scenario, that basically 100% I um, mean, that 5Xs the price of silver um, to nearly $100, so $96. That's that, that target. I think it's going to bust up much more than that. I think 150 possibly even double this, guys. I think we are in for the ride of our lives. The governments cannot control spending, and that is precisely why Bitcoin and blockchain are literally, and the ecosystems within each of them are literally about to become the number one assets in the world. Blockchain means that you are in control of your own wallets, your own money, your own assets, your own financials. You invest in companies that are doing specific things, performing specific things, giving you rewards, staking, earning airdrops, blah, de, blah, de, blah, and essentially bringing Bitcoin as the king of assets into all of the world. Now, I want to show you something very particular. I'm going to show you this very much um, beautiful uh, chart that we have here, which shows you that Bitcoin is honestly the king of all assets. So dips are always for buying according to X-curve, and I do agree too, that risk versus return from 2020 to 2023, let alone we're in 2024 now, and Bitcoin is still the king of assets, guys. All of these assets here, okay, all of the rest of the assets in the world are all the way down here, and there's all the way bitty bitty cash down there. China down here kind of being much better than all of the others. US is all the way there. So US is less risky. China's a bit more risky, but um, uh, essentially, Bitcoin has given the market the greatest return might be the considered the highest risk right now, but not anymore after the spike ETF launches, because that is the green thumb light from all of these to say, well, we approve and we're going to invest too. So I don't know about you, but I ain't selling any of my Bitcoin. I'm holding my Bitcoin. I'm trading things that are giving me more Bitcoin. I'm earning Bitcoin and I'm going to continue to grow my Bitcoin portfolio. Now, Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'm going to do number four for you guys. You should get that video later today. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you guys can see when that comes out because that's going to be the finale of how you can become absolutely financially free just in that one particular um, uh, cycle, um, crypto. So guys, here is my trades. Here are my trades. 458% still in my Bitcoin trade. I'm still going to continue to add to my position. I'm going to continue to build into this position uh, currently at this level. If we do start to break out here, I will add to my position because that will confirm for me that we are then going to uh, invalidate the M pattern that we were building. As long as we can break this high here, that will invalidate the M pattern for me and rather consider then building a um, upward momentum. Now, I'll show you something in the chart. Lastly, before I leave this video, but my Aptos trade is down a little bit. My Bohm trade is somewhat down from where it was, but that's because I re-entered it. I added more to my position and it kind of raised my, my level. My Solana trade is about 42%. I think Solana could go down a little bit more, which just means I'm gonna add more because I think Solana, guys, you know, from where we're currently at at about uh, $177, it's going gonna, it's gonna to probably go to like $166. Uh, sorry, um, about $600 to $1,000. At that point, guys, I mean, there's so much money there made from these trades. It's actually uh, really ridiculous. So use my Bybit link, $30,000 deposit bonus. My Bitflex link, $88,888. That's together. $128,888 just for you guys to come and trade with me and become financially free and reward yourself. Now, the last, um, the absolutely last chart that I want to show you is my Bitcoin chart in terms of the pattern that I've just shared with you. Uh, this is the four hour chart. What I'm about to share with you on this chart here is actually the daily time frame 
and what is currently happening on the daily time frame uh, and what we can expect, especially considering what I just showed you from the Bitcoin halving perspective, plus what I'm now showing you from this perspective. Because as you guys can see, we're actually in a very, very, very strong bull flag pattern. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Here is the estimated halving date in the next two weeks time. So this is the daily chart. And this is going to bounce a little bit. We have up until this point, which ironically is the exit point where this has to make a decision whether it's going to fall down um, and guys, if it falls down, I really don't believe we're going to come below this level right here, which is about 62,000. I just don't see it happening anymore. I think we'll find a bounce because of this level right there. I think we'll find a bounce and then, you know, we could fake out to this. We could kind of bounce in this area, capitulate for a little while and then kind of break down, fake out and then break up above this level. Uh, hitting us at that target and then continuing the pattern up. That's what I think we could happen and we could start to shoot to that 100k level. Uh, should I leave? In fact, I'm going to leave that there for you guys so that you guys can see that potentially that's what it is that I'm talking about. But all in all, isn't this a bull flag pattern? And if I look at where we would draw our pole from considering the size of the flag that has currently started to form, that is essentially the target that we could be looking at from the breakout of this pattern, which could potentially break out from there, which could bring us up to a potential of about 103,000, which would kind of match somewhat my target, more or less, that I'm bringing up here and the targets that I have been speaking about for some time. Now, bearing in mind that the RSI is pushing up and not only that, but if I have to go and also add our MACD, okay, our MACD on the daily time frame in coordination with, uh, let's get this on the full, in coordination with the price action, look at where we're at. The selling pressure is starting to die, guys. So essentially, we're drawing down here now. Like the selling pressure is going to diminish right now, drawing up to the halving. By the halving time, we are going to pump. Don't miss out. No financial advice, but the time and your clock is ticking. Love you all. Thank you for being here with me today. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Crazy videos coming for you later. Love you all, and we'll see you on the